Hello and welcome back to Living Not Existing. As always, I'm Josh. And, uh, well, as you can see, back in my van again today. Because uh, today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a start on looking at what's up with my van. And uh, getting the front end stripped off so that I can uh, get in to getting all the cylinder head off and everything like that. And assessing what's full on gone on with my van, really. So, uh, yeah. That's it really, might as well jump straight outside and uh, sort of show you what's been going on if it hopefully it'll, well it will show you what's been going wrong because uh, I highly doubt with it being sat here for a couple of weeks it's going to have fixed itself but, uh, but yeah so I'll show you what's been going on and then make a start on getting it all stripped down so I'll see you outside in a second Well here she is, the old knackered T4 and uh yeah, as you can see, I've just taken the battery out. I'll, uh, I just quickly tested to see all the compression stuff coming into the expansion bottle here, into the water level and stuff like uh, showing it. And yeah, it's obviously hasn't fixed itself. <laughs> but uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start off with stripping down all this front end, taking the wings off, bumper off, all that sort of stuff and just getting it as stripped down as possible because you have to have these pretty stripped down to, to work on all that lot in there and take the actual head off so uh, but yeah but I'll quickly just show you what the uh, what it looks like when I start it up in this expansion bottle so I'll quickly show you that now but yeah so as you can see, that's not uh, not very good. So I'm going to crack on now with getting this stripped down, and then uh, yeah, I'll show you when it's stripped down and what what a stripped down T4 front end looks like. Right, so as you can now see, I've got the front end stripped off and uh, well that time lapse was a lot quicker than it actually was <laughs> and uh, especially when it came to getting that front uh, that front grill off, there was a few complicated things and uh, to anyone watching this who has stripped down an engine or does strip down an engine, I absolutely hate these, so they're going to be getting replaced with much better clips when it goes back together so should it ever have to come back apart again it comes apart a lot easier because they're a nightmare but yeah so that's the front end off and that's what the C4 looks like with no front end so the next thing is to do to this is to start stripping down the rest of the stuff off of the actual cylinder head so that the head so the actual cylinder head can come off which that involves taking all the um, all the fuel lines off and everything as well as obviously a lot more pipe work in different places the fan fan belt cover air intake taking the turbo off because that's all attached to the head so there's lots and lots and lots of work to be done there stripping down wires like that but today was just a bit of a start to uh, stripping down the front end but uh, unfortunately today I've actually ran out of time in order to be able to strip down the rest of uh, all of that lot because we're actually, yeah, me and Rachel are going around to uh, a friend's house today because, um, well, bas basically, don't know if anyone who's watching this does, but we absolutely love Game of Thrones and the new season starts tomorrow. So, we and we've got a few friends that we all watch it together with, so we're having a bit of a Game of Thrones marathon ready for tomorrow. So, we've got that coming on, so I'm going to have to put this on pause for today because of the time we're all meeting up and having chilli con carne together and all that sort of stuff. But I did have a bit more time to do with this and could have got a bit more work done today. However, my dad just pulled this out of his workshop. This new David Brown 850. And it's, uh, oh, I've forgotten the name already. What is it? Im Implomatic. It is an, a David Brown 850 Implomatic. And uh, 
just been having a bit of a play around driving around on that and it's absolutely brilliant i love it so uh that kind of distracted things and took up a bit of time hence why that's not getting stripped down anymore it, i would have had it stripped down a bit more now but the tractor took a bit more priority with fun <laughs> so we've both just been having a bit of a mess around on that me and my dad driving it about a bit so uh yeah but that's it for today so i'll quickly i'm going to quickly show you the tractor driving about because it was absolutely brilliant and brilliant fun i've never actually driven an old tractor like this before so uh, i'll quickly show you that and then uh, i'll see you back inside the van so yeah so here come the tractor vids Right, well, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, obviously, as you've seen, I haven't really got much done today, but I've got a good start on the T4 and it made it so it's accessible now to actually get the engine stripped down, which is obviously a good task in itself, in a way. But yeah, so um, as I was saying, the next thing to do now is to actually strip down the actual cylinder head of the T4 to like get, get it off. So, uh, and obviously I was showing some bits and bobs that need to be stripped down, so obviously taking off obviously fuel fuel pipes and then air, air intake, taking off the actual turbo, as well as other little pipes and different sensors and stuff like that. So there's plenty and pl plenty of plenty of things to do to actually strip that down, get to a point of taking the head off. So uh, I need to be getting on with that um, sooner rather than later because obviously I want my van back and uh, I'd like to be able to get away somewhere or other in the summer in it as well. So um, 
yeah, well, basically, see what happens on that front and what happens. But, um, yeah, obviously, need to be getting cracked on and getting the rest of that stripped down. But, uh, obviously, a bit of fun happened instead today because uh, in the time of getting able to do a little bit more stripping down, of obviously having a little go on my dad's old David Brown. And uh, that is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely incredible. If anyone watching this ever gets a chance to have a go of a tra an old tractor like that, if you've never had a go of one, especially, obviously, just go on it. Take the opportunity. It's absolutely brilliant. It's impossible to drive without a smile from ear to ear. Honestly, it's brilliant. And obviously, it's an agricultural uh, vehicle, but everything you're driving is so agricultural, if you get what I mean. Like, it's all just levers and, like, all grinding and crunching and stuff when you're doing things and, like, whirring, and it's just totally down to basics. It's literally just an engine on wheels. It's awesome. So, uh, but yeah, I'd definitely give a go driving that because I loved it. It was brilliant. And when we were having a bit of a mess around there doing that. But yeah, so uh, everything's just all packed away now is what I've done. Put all the bits that I've taken off, packed all them away. And um, yeah, that's it really for today. Can't do much much more. Can't say much more because I haven't done all that much. But uh, I'm hoping to get the engine actually stripped down fairly shortly. And obviously got things to run alongside with the allotment, trying to get all that sorted ready for growing season, which is here basically. So um, yeah, sort of chasing around trying to get a lot of stuff sorted that I've got behind on a lot of stuff so yeah so a lot of work for me coming up shortly obviously for getting me van sorted and getting the allotment sorted but yeah so uh, any anyway thank you all very much for watching remember to like comment subscribe hit the little bell button check out the Facebook and Instagram link below because I'll be getting things posted of me van and of, also off of uh, the allotment and stuff there as well on them but yeah so as always I'm Josh been living not existing. Goodbye.